If you're trying to figure out how much traffic your WordPress website is getting, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the traffic of your website inside of WordPress using Google Analytics. We're going to have to install a plugin, but it's a free plugin, and we're also going to have to sign up for Google Analytics. But don't worry, it's really easy. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of getting started building great websites. So let's go ahead and dive in and figure out exactly how to check our website traffic inside of WordPress using Google Analytics. So before we do anything on our website, the first thing we need to do is sign up for a Google Analytics account. So go head over to analytics.google.com. And if you don't already have a Google account associated with your website, you can create a new account. Follow the instructions and provide your information. Then Google will ask for some of the details about your business so they can know how to better help you with your business and provide the right services for your type of business. Once you have completed the sign up and provided your business information, then head back to analytics.google.com and click Start Measuring. Enter in the name of your website. If you have a multiple websites, you can also enter in the name of your company that has multiple websites. Click Next. This is the property name, so the name of the website. Down below that, you can enter in your reporting time zone and the currency that you're using. Then click Next. And then click Create. Accept the terms of service. So now that we've got Google Analytics set up, it's time to go back to our website where we can install the Monster Insight plugin. For most people to log back into your dashboard, you'll go to your website name slash wp-admin. If you have a different hosting company, you may have a different way of accessing your dashboard. But basically, we just need to get back to the WordPress dashboard. So then to install the plugin, over on the left, we need to go over to Plugins. Then at the top, click Add New. Then we're going to here, we're going to search for Monster Insights. And we're going to add this plugin here, Monster Insights Google Analytics Dashboard for WordPress. Click Install Now. Once it's installed, click Activate. Then up here at the top, click Connect Monster Insights and Set Up Website Analytics. Choose the appropriate setting here for your website and then click Save and Continue. Then we're going to click Connect Monster Insights. Then sign into the account that you've created your Google Analytics with. In order to connect, you need to allow Monster Insights to have access to this information. So click Allow. If you've set up multiple properties, choose the property you want. In this case, we're going to use the Google Analytics 4 property that I've set up and then do Complete Connection. Then it will take several minutes while it adds the tracking code to your website, but this will save you a ton of time in figuring out how to do it on your own. Verify that the recommended settings are the settings that you want and then click Save and Continue. And if you just want to keep with the free version, scroll down to the bottom and click Skip for Now. This information is now telling you that you've connected to your Google Analytics account and that it's automatically installed the tracking code for you and that data is being collected. And then to stay with the free version, go to the bottom and click Complete Setup without upgrading. And now to check the website traffic inside of WordPress, click on View Reports. Since we just signed up for Google Analytics, it hasn't had any time to collect any data yet, so there's no data here. But once your website has been going for a while and you've been receiving users, your graph should start to look like this. You can also view your site traffic directly from the WordPress dashboard. Click on Dashboard at the top. Scroll down to the bottom. And here in this widget, you'll find the statistics for your website traffic right inside WordPress. And if you want, you can drag this report right to the top of the dashboard so it's easy to view. You can also open it up in full width mode, or you can see the detailed report by going under Insights and then Reports. 
and that takes you back to the detailed report. If that video hit the spot and you found it useful, hit that like button down below and help other people find it. And also, if you have any questions about building websites, leave them down in the comments below. If you're also wondering whether your website is being indexed by Google, I have a video on how to check whether your website is being indexed by Google and also how to sort of speed up the process of getting your website indexed. If you want an alternative method to checking your website traffic inside of WordPress, I've got another video using a different plugin and it's actually a plugin that's made by the people behind WordPress. So definitely check that video out. And again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.